Come sit on the couch. Okay, there we go. Can't have any sound on them. Okay. Hello! Is anybody there today? It's been a few days. What, did we do this Friday? I'll wait here and see if anybody wants to jump on and learn how to make some cocktails, because that's what we're doing, making cocktails. I'm sure nobody out there is making cocktails during all this, right? There you go. Oh my God, Bingo's watching Tiger King? Bingo, that's, you know, he's, what are you doing? That's funny, he's watching Tiger King. But Tiger King's not actually on, because my kids are in the room. There you go. So, Heather. Newman Corsi, what's up? Joey. Hi, Joey. Where's your what? Your dinner almost ready? Yes. We haven't started dinner. You had that dinner? Yeah. I mean, the fryer's been on for five hours. Um, your friend just finished lunch. What's the hurry? True. Okay. Everybody good? Okay, so. Uh, we've only got about 10 people on, which is fine. You guys can always go back and watch the videos later. Uh, Y'all gotta send me some more drinks. I'm trying to figure out what to make. It's been very exciting though to have to figure things out. I'm actually working, but not working. So, um, episode eight, what? Episode eight of what, Tiger King? Just interviews. Eh. Oh, interviews? Eh. My husband's watched it all. I only watched the first two and I couldn't stay awake. So I don't know, it may have been after a cocktail class though. Those generally, I fall asleep fairly early. Not early, but fairly quickly. Everybody doing good? Yeah, everybody's alive, everybody's healthy, everybody's well. Yep, interviews, he says, interviews. Tonight, I'm drinking a sidecar. It is absolutely delicious, you all. Don't be alarmed when it says that this Drink is, it literally consists of three things, a cognac, Cointreau, and fresh squeezed lemon juice. Okay, you're like, oh, I don't know. Can't even taste the liquor in it, it's really good. Um, I used Christian Brothers Brandy, just because I happened to have it for my Brandy Alexander's the other day. Lemon juice Cointreau. Um, actually, on this one, I put a little splash of simple syrup in it. Some, some recipes use it, some don't. Traditionally not, but it's really good with a little bit in there, just because it sweetens it up. Mm-mm-mm. Are we doing good? Are we good? All right. So tonight we're gonna make a hurricane. Uh, this is a hurricane glass. I only happen to have one because I got it from Rainforest Cafe. Um, so let me give you a little story on the hurricane here. The one that I'm gonna make tonight is going to fill this glass because this is actually a hurricane glass. This glass is huge. I couldn't tell you the exact ounces, but it is much bigger than your normal glass. So when I make this hurricane, I'm going to do two ounces of light rum and two ounces of dark rum. So that's four ounces of alcohol total in this glass. That's because this is a huge glass, okay? And it is strong. So if you're making one with me tonight and you're making it in a smaller glass, honestly, I would do like a one in one, one light rum, one dark rum, or one and a half, one and a half if you're feeling real frisky. But uh, I'm only doing two of everything because it's just a massively giant glass. Um, okay, my Bloody Mary that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use regular vodka. Okay, Bloody Marys are so um, all over the place. Completely up to you, totally what you like. You can use regular tomato juice if you don't want any spice in it. You can use any kind of store-bought stuff. Um, I'm gonna use this stuff. I like this stuff. It does have a little spice to it. I'm a spicy, I'm a spicy person. I love spicy stuff. So I am going to use this, but I'm, oh my God, my husband's <laughs> staring at me in the creepiest way. <laughs> But I am also going to add Tabasco, raw horseradish, because I literally eat this stuff on saltine crackers. If you come to my work, you know that, it's delicious. It's weird. Um, I will put some cracked black pepper in it. And I'm not gonna even attempt to say what this is, but you all recognize this bottle. Everybody knows what this is. I'm putting some of that parents. in Huh? Lee and Parents. Lee and Parents is gonna go in there. I'm gonna use Tito's for the vodka. Uh, but if you don't love spicy food, you don't have to use all that. If you don't love Zing Zing, you don't have to do all that. So. I'm literally showing you what I would do if I was making the cocktails. Um, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for a couple more people here, um, CJ's, 41st and County Line, always. If you live anywhere out here, please go see them to buy all of your cocktails, all that stuff, any of the liquor you need there, they are fantastic. 
John is fantastic. They have donated a ton of stuff to me to do these shows. And also, if you are just starting out and you need to kind of round up some stuff because you're like, oh, heck, I'm going to be home for another four months apparently and I should make cocktails, Curtis Restaurant Supply, you guys. I have shouted them out plenty of times before on here. That is where any of you that ask can get the tins, the strainers, the puree. They have every kind of puree there. Um, the uh, jiggers, squeezers, muddlers, spoons, every single thing you need. And they also happen to have the Lasco lemon and lime mix, which is what I tell you. I use the lime for my margaritas and the lemon and lime mix together for sweet and sour. Any drink that calls for sweet and sour. Um, so Curtis Restaurant Supply, it is located at 40th and Sheridan, just north of Home Depot on Sheridan. Take a ride on 40th Street. It's like an industrial road right back there on the left-hand side. Curtis Restaurant Supply, they are awesome. Go see them. Okay, let's get started. Um, gosh, what should I do first? What do we need to do first, Peter? Hi, everyone. Um, why don't you do one of those so I can drink it? Okay, so Peter wants me to make another sidecar so he can drink it. Okay, sidecar. Sidecar traditionally served in a little coupe glass. If you don't happen to have these, no worries. I'd put it in a martini glass. You can put it in. I said that the other day. You can actually put it in whatever you want because it's, you know, it's up to you. Whatever you want. So, we're going to make this one like a martini, which means I'm going to fill up my, my tin here with ice, about three quarters full. Take my jigger. Now my coupe glass is only, I think, five ounces, so it doesn't hold a lot. Uh, we're going to use a cognac. I have chosen Christian Brothers Brandy. It is delicious. I'm going to do one and a half ounces of brandy. Sidecar. Some of you may not have ever heard of this. I've heard of it a few times, but it's much better than I would think it would be. Okay, one and a half ounces cognac. Flip this guy around here. I'm going to do three quarter ounces Cointreau. Don't try to use triple sec. Use the Cointreau. Three quarter ounce. Fresh squeezed lemon juice made with my lemon squeezer. Easiest thing ever, guys. Curtis Restaurant Supply, get you one. Uh, I'm going to do three quarter ounce of this. And that is pretty much all the recipe calls for. However, I like to add a little simple syrup. So I'm going to do about a half ounce of simple syrup in this guy just to make it a little bit sweeter. And remember, you can buy simple syrup everywhere. I mean, they sell it at Walmart. Like, you can buy it already made anywhere. But it's super easy to make. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, half sugar, half boiling water. That's it. Shake it, put it in the fridge. I know I say that a lot, but it's just so easy to make. Um, we are going to shake this one up. That's a martini. Shake, shake, shake. Um, and this little guy is going to get, uh, I'm gonna use a lemon. We're gonna put sugar on it because it's sweet. Even if I didn't put the simple syrup in it, it still calls for sugar on the rim. Salt, sugar. Okay. Sugar this guy up here. See the cute little glass? Take your treat. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. She's hi. alive, she's alive. That Jaden. See. She's still four and brother's about to turn nine. Guys, this is a sidecar. Um, I've seen it garnished two ways. I've seen it garnished with oranges or lemons. And the Cointreau is an orange liqueur and then it's got fresh squeezed lemon juice. So I'm a little torn on it. I'm not real sure exactly how I'll garnish it, but I guess I'll do a lemon. So we got our lemon twist that I showed you all how to make the other day. Put that little fella on there. Do, do, do. Sidecar, and it is delicious. Can't even taste that there's any alcohol in there. Mm -mm -mm. Has anybody had screwball peanut butter whiskey? Let me know if you have, I wanna hear it. I'm going to attempt on, what is today, Monday? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attempt on Wednesday to make something or a couple things with screwball. Peter's had it. I have not had it, so I don't know how it tastes, but we're gonna do some screwball whiskey things. Um, hi guys. Hi, hi Jillers. Hi Sarah. Hi. hi Lori. Hi Crystal. Hi Jay says hi to everyone. Um, sidecar, if anybody made that with me, I would love to see it. Those things are delicious. And I have a charging. And you have a charging block. Perfect. All right. 
uh, let's do, I guess let's do a hurricane. Shoot, okay. Like I said earlier, if you've just joined me, I'm putting the hurricane in the standard hurricane glass. It's huge, it's massive. So I'm gonna do four ounces of alcohol. Huge. Two mm -hmm. ounces of uh, light rum, two ounces of dark rum. If you're gonna make it with me in a smaller glass, don't put so much in there. And I'm gonna have to go back and read these because I wanna know about the, the screwball. Peanut butter whiskey. Okay, um, so this drink, I am going to put some ice in here, but not full. And then I'm going to fully ice my glass when I'm done. I'm gonna shake and I'm gonna strain it into there. So let's get started. This is a hurricane. I have a little over halfway full of ice. I'm gonna use a dark rum. Um, I'm gonna use Myers. Like I said, I'm doing two ounces of each because it's a big glass. You don't have to do that much. It's a very strong drink, even in this giant glass. So it's two calls for two ounces of dark rum. We use Myers. Two ounces of light rum. We're gonna use Bacardi. Um, and then I'm gonna use two ounces of orange juice and two ounces of pineapple juice. Traditionally, these things, uh, hurricanes, use something called passion fruit juice or passion fruit syrup. I don't know where that is. I have looked and looked and looked and I haven't found it in all my years of bartending. So I'm like 21, I don't know. I've always used orange juice and pineapple. So we're gonna do two ounces of orange juice Two ounces of pineapple juice. And then I am also going to add, and not everybody does this, but I am also going to add a half ounce of simple syrup and a half ounce of lime juice. Now you don't have to do these things. If you don't have them, it's fine. The light rum, dark rum, orange juice, pineapple, whatever, uh, will work. Grenadine is the last thing we put in there. And honestly, I don't really measure it. I just kind of, uh, it's probably close to a half ounce, three quarter ounce grenadine maybe. So this is a hurricane. I did two ounces of light rum, two ounces of dark rum, a little bit of grenadine, uh, two ounces of pineapple, two ounces of orange juice, um, a half ounce of simple syrup, and a half ounce of lime juice. So it has got a lot of stuff in it, y'all. Um, I am going to shake this guy up. Can you see the color? It's a hurricane. You like rum and you like the islandy drink and you like to forget about the problems. This might be your food. Hey, how's that? How's that thing taste over there? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very. So I'm gonna take my hurricane glass here. Fill it up with some ice. 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 Hi everyone. How's everybody doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hurricane coming up. I told you this glass is huge. I mean, this is a huge drink. Ooh. Put that outside if anybody wants to come and take that. I'm just kidding. Um, this guy's going to be garnished here with an orange and a cherry. And just because I'm feeling fiery, and I got these today. We are gonna put a little umbrella with it. It's gonna be like a real deal hurricane. Where's the wind? Oh, by the way, has anybody noticed that it's winter time again? Hey guys. Hey guys. Look, look what is that? Are you grilling a burger? Got this cute little fella today here. So we'll stick this little umbrella through our cherry and our orange. And put it on our drink. And there you have a hurricane. I, Yay. I, I, Get up. Get up. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jason. So this is our hurricane, guys. If anybody uh, wants to make one of those. Huh? No. Let's taste it. I don't know what it tastes like. What's delicious? Anybody? Ooh, ooh, yes. Okay. Hurricane? Umbrella? Ty. Yes? Uh, if you want to talk to anybody, you have to come over here. Because I can't move my camera. Jane wants to talk, but I can't move my camera anymore. Oh, thank you, Tony. I, I am patriotic. Supporting the United States of America. 
Sporting? Sporting. Well, nobody is actually sporting here, but yes, I'm... Yes. What? Speak. Say, okay, talk to your people. Your people are up here. See, hi, people. Hi. Hi, people. I just want to say hi to everybody. This better be important because we still have to make a Bloody Mary. No? Nothing? No okay. words? She's got nothing. No I, 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 love, I love my mom. She loves me. She's the best. He's the best too, though. We love your sister. Yes. She likes teal, pink, and purple. If anybody wants to just send her something teal, pink, or purple, she'll be very happy. Oh, especially teal. Mm -hmm. It's your favorite color. All right, guys. So we got a hurricane. We got a sidecar, which is delicious. Okay. On to the Bloody Mary. And once again, I said earlier, I love spicy things. So I'm going to do this spicier. Um, I'm going to put it in this glass, just a regular pint glass here. And I will... The rim with a lime, and this one is gonna get salt. Unless you don't like salt, you absolutely do not have to. Bloody Marys are so, I mean, it's kinda like an old fashioned as far as everybody likes something different. So you don't have to do it a certain way. I'm just showing you how I do it. I'm gonna add ice to this glass. And I am gonna add a tiny bit of ice to my shaker, but not a lot. Not and like I'm not gonna water it down. I'm just adding a little bit um, to make sure that it's cold when I pour it in my glass, uh, but not like a martini or anything like that. Ooh, the Bloody Marys too. Okay, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of ice in there, a little under halfway. So Bloody Mary is. Uh, obviously, the, the base of it is vodka, and you can use any vodka you want, like regular vodka. Um, Absolute makes a Pepar vodka that I've used a lot. Pepar. Um, this is pretty good in, in Bloody Marys, but you kind of have to like, I mean, you really have to like the taste of it. Uh, tonight, I am just going to use regular good old Tito's, donated by CJ's, 41st and County Line. Go see John. Go see Stephanie. They're the best. Um, what, well, I'm going to do, uh, this is the only alcohol in a Bloody Mary. So I'm going to do two and a half ounces. You can do two, you can do one and a half, whatever. Um, you, can do six. you can do six if you want, right? We're gonna do two and a half ounces of vodka. So this is my two ounce side, so I'll do two on that side. And then a half ounce over here. Um, like I said, I'm gonna use Zing Zang. Personal preference, Zing Zang. And if you just wanna use vodka and Zing Zang, that's fine, like it's still great that way. I'm gonna add a bunch of other really spicy stuff because I like them spicy. Um, Zing Zang, I'm gonna do three ounces, because we did two and a half ounces of vodka. So I'll do three ounces of Zing Zang. There's two. Do about one more in my Zing Zang. And then I have my little spoons over here. Once again, y'all, total personal preference. First of all, I'm gonna great, put a little bit of cracked black pepper in mine. And then my Lien parents, because I'm not gonna say that word again. Um, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon, is what I'm using to measure. Half teaspoon of this. I know some of y'all are making these at home with me, because you told me you were going to, so hopefully. You better. You better not be lying to hopefully you like them. Tabasco? You better not be lying to my mom. <laughs> I'm going to do a half ounce of Tabasco. Well, I'm not going to do a half ounce, actually, because we're just going to shake it. And it'll be close to a half ounce. Okay. And then if you can find any, because I love it. Um, this was at Reese's in the like sour cream, milk, butter section. Uh, raw horseradish, dairy. <laughs> and my eight year old says, dairy? Sour cream, milk, butter? Oh, you mean that, dairy? Yeah, that's what I meant, buddy, dairy. Um, I am gonna use a half teaspoon of this stuff because I love it, you don't have to. Love to. Okay, so I have done two and a half ounces of regular vodka. I did three ounces of Zing Zang. I did a half ounce of Tabasco, a half ounce of the Leah and Parents, the stuff that I won't say. And then I did uh, about a half ounce of um, raw shaking? horseradish. You say it really fast. Shake, shake, shake this guy up. Mm, it's going to be delicious. Oh, and I did cracked black pepper. Also, don't have to do it. I just, it's delicious. Put my strainer on here. I'm not gonna dump the whole thing in there with the ice. I'm gonna pour it over this ice. 
And you want to make sure to leave at least a little bit of room in the top if you're going to garnish these things because we garnish them with, with everything. Everything that you can find in your house. Just stick it in there. It's going to be great. People might ask questions. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, stick your... Whoa! Stick your what? Uh, I'm going to use these little baby olives. So I'm going to do two little olives. And then a little... Where's my... Oh, and a baby pickle. Because I love pickles. And then another baby olive. See this little guy? We'll put that guy in there. Put some celery in there. Put a straw in there. You know, I keep forgetting my straws. And here we have a fantastic, what would normally be a Saturday or Sunday morning drink, but apparently now if you're unemployed like me, it could be seven days a week. Here's your breakfast, guys. Got tomatoes in there. Mmm. That's good stuff. And that is my, bless you. Bless you. My Bloody Mary. Anybody have any questions? Radish, you say? That's funny. <laughs> yeah. It's about all of us. Um, mm? Mm -hmm. So that is it for tonight, guys. We did a sidecar. We did a hurricane. And we did a spicy Bloody Mary. Mm. Mm. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to do a drink okay. or two with the... Uh... Hi, Kristen. Hi, Devin. We are going to do a, um, a drink or two with the Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. Once I get it, it'll be good. If you guys know of anything or you've had it, let me know. I'd love any ideas. Um, and for now, what is today? Monday. So I will be back Wednesday. In the meantime, please go to CJ's for your alcohol needs. And go to Curtis Restaurant Supply for any of your bartending needs. Those places are fantastic. They're supporting local, so you should support local. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. Guys, why use a straw when you rim it with salt? Because I am a baby. My husband will tell you that. I don't know. You're right, Tony. She must use straws. Tony Walters down the street. You're right. Well, straws are good. I like straws. I shouldn't use a straw. I should lick the salt and take the drink. Like a big girl. Jill! With a milk? Drinks what with a milk? You're welcome, Jason. Hi, Heather Pillars. All right. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Same old, same old. My PayPal, Venmo, all that's up there. If anybody feels like sending a tip for a tip, always appreciate it. Yes. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Jay likes to say caterpillar no, because it's cute. Okay, that is all I have for tonight, guys. Everybody stay well, stay healthy, stay kind. CJ's Curtis Restaurant Supply, awesome. Go see him, message me with any questions and message me with any ideas because I need ideas. Because I heard today that we have like until the end of July or something with this whole thing. So I need some ideas. Okay, yes, everybody enjoy uh, the rest of your Monday and your Tuesday. Talk to you Wednesday. See you later. Thanks.